Following on nicely from our block lettering last week, the fourth session was all about bubble writing. The children were instantly engaged in this, as they all love bubble writing themselves, but the technique to actually draw it, shown in the guide, proved really effective and really easy for everyone to master, myself included. You start out by using the ruler and drawing two pencil guidelines. Between these lines you can form your letters. You can be a little bit looser with them this time, don't worry about being too angular, but do leave a little gap between each letter. When you've done this, you get the black pen and you outline the letters not once, but twice. Again, with your outlines, do it all in long, quick strokes. Don't be too accurate, make it nice and big and bold and smooth. You can then use the eraser tool to rub out the pencil lines and to rub out the letters and that first internal outline. You should then just be left with the big outline around each letter. On letters where it overlaps, you can choose which letter you want to be in front or behind based on how you use the rubber. The children at first found this quite tricky to master, but as soon as they realised they didn't have to be too careful and too accurate with their lines, it became a lot more easy for them to follow. The real strength of the bubble writing lesson is it gets the children to think about light and dark and making things look a little bit more rounded than just a flat picture on a page. To do this, we use the watercolour brush to fill each, each letter, and we then apply darker parts and highlights where appropriate. I got the children to draw an arrow for where the light source was coming from, just so they can kind of visualise what bits should be brighter and what bits should be darker on each letter. After we'd drawn all the lights and darks using the watercolour brush tool, we then use the smudge tool to go and blend it all together. With the smudge tool, try and stay as close to the middle of each letter as you can, otherwise you might pick up those black pen lines as well. If you do though, don't worry, you can just smudge them out as well. With the children, I got them not to be too hung up on getting the black mixed in, because the more you blend it, the more it disappears and it adds texture. When you've blended every letter, you can zoom out and you can see your whole word in that bubble writing effect. You may want to use the black pen tool just to re-outline some of the letters, particularly if you smudge the black line on them in the first place. This will neaten it up and make it look nice and tidy. We use this project linked to our new six school values, and the children picked one of the six values from a list and made some word art to illustrate that value. This was a really nice way to give the lesson some context, but also you could use this for various other purposes in your own classrooms. Every child managed to complete one of these, just even the ones who thought, nope, I can't do that, I can't do well writing, I can't do shading. Everyone managed to get it done. Another example that everyone can create.